two, one, go. Set amongst the idyllic Cambrian mountains, Clonoted Wells, with its population of around 600 people, played host to the 29th annual World Bog Snorkeling Championships on Sunday. Despite the less than ideal weather, 155 competitors donned interesting costumes and jumped into a weed infested bog to see who would come out as champion. Go on, James! Come on, come on! The World Bog Snorkeling Championships first started when a charity in the local area was trying to come up with fundraising ideas. So what does it take to be a good bog snorkeler? Well, to be a good bog snorkeler, what you really need is a little bit of stamina, um, plenty of courage and uh, an ability to laugh at yourself because it's fairly tough, but it is a lot of fun. Just being really fast and not drowning, I think that might help. Uh, well, what do we need? Well, buoyancy, obviously, buoyancy would be good, and uh, ability to pick the racing path through the reeds. I think this is essential. You need stamina, uh, the ability to defy the cold, um, a massive sense of humour, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not even tired, I'm not out of breath, you just get cold and it's just like, I can't do anymore. <laughs> your brain's going, come on, and your muscles are like, no, I think. So, yeah. Former club swimmer Kirsty Johnson from Surrey emerged victorious and managed to set a new world record in the process. Well, my technique was send my sister first so she could try it out. Um, butterfly kick all the way to the other end. Then my legs were knackered, so I had to go to front crawl and then a bit of fly on the way back. How did you find it? Uh, yeah, it's really hard on the way back. My, my legs were on fire. But all worth it for the Green Frog Trophy, of course.